All right, then. Today we're going to be doing another Lord of Sequelae uh, challenge made by Los Rubios. And with this challenge, we're given, uh, again, a query that we're supposed to answer. And it's a bit different this time. It looks like uh, no quotes are allowed. So if I go and do what I usually do, just type no, because that's something we're allowed this time. So I guess that's something else that, that's different. We're not allowed to change the ID value, but we're allowed to change the no value. So if I go no, and then I just add a quote right here we get no quotes so that's something we have to watch out for we're not allowed to use quotes so like the first thing i want to be able to do is i guess print out this hello so so no is equal to zero so if i put zero no hello gets printed out but if i change this no to like a one or something we get hello guest and that prints out guest so what I'm thinking is checking. So what this statement is doing for the most part, it's uh, it's checking the result of ID, of this value ID. And I guess it's checking if it's true or not. It's checking if the result of the certain ID is true. And if it's true, if this, uh, if this result is true, it prints out the 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 result of the ID. So I'm guessing this is true. This is a this is a valid SQL query. So that means it prints out hello guest. Now the point of this challenge is we want to be able to change the ID of admin. And one way of doing this is just simply by typing or and then you do ID. And like the nonchalant way is you think you just type in admin. And then it doesn't work which is pretty interesting so one way of solving this like i said before is ch by changing id but i didn't know about this but i guess my sequel accepts hex literals so that means if you go right here on geeks for greeks you could pass in a hex value and it and it's equivalent to like a certain oh i'll just close this it's equivalent to a different uh, different value. So this is right here, 12, 12, like for example, 12A is equivalent to 298. So yeah, so that, that, that was something cool, interesting I found. So what I did was just like go on like string to hex, online string to hex. I typed in admin, converted that to a hex value and just added the OX symbol at the end because that's how you do this for hex values and just did this. So from my understanding, I'm guessing this was a valid true statement, but it passed in this value first because since this is true, since this is valid, it, it's still a pass through the if and it's still, it's still, um, it just got the first value, which was guessed. So what we want to do is get an invalid answer. We want to turn this. We want to be able to turn this false and then this true that so that it passes this instead. The ID equals admin. So what I did was just just turn this one back to a zero because if we go back to what it originally was, so we go take this off and put it as zero. We see that it set it to false and uh, the ID guest wasn't printed out or the hello hello guest. So if we go back and change this value to zero, we're going to see that hello admin. Since this was false, it got ignored and it jumped straight to this second statement, which was true because of the or. So it's or. So or means it checks either this or this if it's true. And if one of them is true, then this is a valid SQL statement and it and it passes the, this, both these tests. Now, another way to solve this challenge is by using the char value. So char value turns integers to, um, to characters. And if you look up just ASCII to int, no, yeah, ASCII, the ASCII table for the most part. If you look up, just look up the ASCII table, ASCII table. And if we look at this, we see that uh, a certain character is associated with a certain decimal or a char value in our case. So what we could do is basically 
associate get everything that equals to admin so admin is chart a the integer or decimal value of it will be 97 d will be 100 i will be uh add oh, m m will be 109 i will be 105 and n will be uh 110 so what we could do is just go back here and accept of actually putting in uh the 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 actual hex the hex literal but what we could do is just pass in this which is equivalent to admin if we go back again 97 is a 100 is d and since this chart is not filtered out right here we, uh, this is a valid uh, statement so if you just press enter we still get goblin clear and hello admin so that this is one way of doing it which is pretty neat anyway that was about it for this video if you guys solved it any other way comment it down below uh, i will like i'll be really interested to see how you guys solve this and put like a little explanation so anyone else watching this uh or like anyone else reading the comments could like see other ways that people solve this but this is one way of solving it which is pretty cool i enjoyed it anyway that was about it for this challenge and peace